Today, we are going to be taking a look at the long-awaited Necron from Benchmade Knives. So if you're familiar with Benchmade Knives, you'll be familiar with the good old Benchmade Butterfly. It's because of their long-standing history in making very popular butterfly knives, or balisongs. So if we go ahead and open up the Necron here, you can see their old-school balisong butterfly logo. It's a neat little throwback. Let's get this open and see our first look at the Necron. This currently comes in three different versions that I'll show you here in a bit, but let's take a look at what comes in the rest of the box. You've got uh, some info on their Life Sharp guarantee, basically just saying that anytime you want, you can send it in and they will sharpen your knife for you. And here you've got some standoff replacements. That is for the tail end of the handles here. If you don't like these extended grips, you can shorten them down to a more traditional size. Beneath this, we've got a good old little nylon slip for you. And then there's these two important little baggies here. I'll get into more information about these here in a little bit, but just remember that these are in here. Now, moving the rest of this to the side, we'll get started on the Necron itself. Currently, it's at just over nine and a half inches long, but again, you can remove some overall length by taking off these extenders down here. Moving up here to the blade, we've got a CPM S30V scimitar style blade, I believe is what they're calling it. This is actually featuring their select edge, so it's crazy sharp. Not something that you actually tend to see on a lot of battle songs. So you've got a 14 degree edge on each side, so 28 degrees inclusive. Very, very slicey. Amazing for push cuts. This particular one is black coated in DLC and then tumbled with what they're calling a battle wash. So it's a very nice worn look. Personally, looks like this are my favorite. I love the look of a satin blade, but I'm afraid of it getting uh, scratched up or fingerprinted. This, as you can see, hides any oil or anything like that very well. Big fan. The blade itself is about four and a half inches overall but you get just over about four inches of cutting edge. So with all that blade and the select edge and this wicked scimitar clip point up here, this blade's capable of a lot of hard use. Moving down here to the handle, this is their ruby red G10 variant, but again, there's some more that we'll get into later. All three though have these titanium nitride gold pivots, and they are adjustable, which you do love to see. And just a couple more things before we continue to move on to the different variants. I wanted to show you that on this handle here, it may be hard to see on the top camera, but on the safe handle, or the handle where the spine of the blade connects, there's these two little diamonds milled on either side. So because there's no latch on this knife, it can be hard to tell which handle you're holding. So with those milled diamonds in there, that gives you a little tactile sensation so you can tell whether or not you are holding the correct handle when flipping. It's a small little detail, but I'm very glad they added it. It doesn't take away anything from it aesthetically, in my opinion, but you can certainly feel it. And it's just a good little reminder that, oh, yes, I'm in the right spot whenever I go to flip. So neat little accent. Now, the last couple things here, uh, each of these handles has two screws on either side. And if you want to remove these handle extenders, you're gonna to have to remove those, but luckily you don't even have to touch the pivot. Now to show you what I mean, I'll go ahead and bring in my second variant here, which is the Jade G10. Now, as you can tell, I've gone ahead and already removed these. You do so, as I said, by removing the two screws on either side. And once you do that, each side can pop off and pivot along the pivot, which is very nice. So let's go ahead and do that on both sides. And you can see that there is one additional screw here. So all you gotta do is take that out, pop the tab out on the other side, and you are good to replace. Now, while we have this open, I wanna go ahead and take a look at these little weights here that I showed you at the very beginning. But just remember that these are in here. Those two baggies have a total of 16 of these little tungsten discs and four of these little rubber strands here. Now, there's no instructions in the box, so it might be a little confusing if you didn't know what you were looking at at first. But on each of these handles, so the top and bottom of each side, you have enough room for up to four 
of these little tungsten discs here. Now these are to act as weights so that you can adjust the balance point of your flipping. The Balisong community has been finding ways to modify the weights and balance points of their blades for as long as they've been around. So this is very cool to see a company give you right off the bat another way to do so. Now as you can see and maybe hear here, they do rattle a little bit, which from what I hear is intentional. That's so if you're a fan of the audible click clackiness of a Balisong, this adds to that. But if you want to subdue that, you take this little rubber piece here, you slide it along the outside of the scale. You can tell where there's a flat spot. And then all you have to do is push in your tungsten discs wherever you want. You can, you can have as little as one in one spot. And it, once it's actually closed up, they don't move at all. You can see if you are still hearing, it's because I've actually gone ahead and added all four to each side on this one. So what I do plan on doing now is getting this fully closed up and giving you a sound comparison, if you will. So let's go ahead and see that. All right, so I've gone ahead and got this one closed up. So I'm just gonna give you a really quick audible comparison. Sounds pretty good. Feel like that's already got a good amount of click clackiness, but then you pick up, this one's got tungsten discs in there, adds well over an extra ounce as well if you want a little bit of a heftier carry, but now to hear this one. <laughs> much, much louder. So if you're a fan of it, and you can even feel them rattling in there, it's not gonna throw off any balance points, I don't think, because they're moving less than a millimeter, but you definitely hear it. Now that I've got those there, I wanted to go ahead and bring out and show you the last variant that we've got, and this is the trainer. It comes in a blue G10, still super fidgety. I <laughs> gotta love ballys. It's got this nice milling here out of the blade. This one is not S30V, it is 440C, but of course it is fully dull. You can drag your finger up and down and uh, you're, you're, you're gonna have to try to cut yourself on this one. But this milling here is done to keep about the same balance point on the blade and about the same weight. Now let's go ahead and bring out a scale here just to show that. All right, so that's zeroed out. This one's coming in at about 4.4 and the normal about 4.44. Yeah, so they're, they're right about identical. Just, just for kicks, yeah, 5.26 and that's with handle extenders taken off. So you can tell those tungsten weights do add quite some weight to this one. Thanks so much for joining me today as I took a look at the Benchmade Necron. It's been a while since Benchmade came out with a new Bally, so I was super excited to get my hands on these and take a closer look. I think it's just a matter of time before the secondary market or Benchmade themselves starts coming out with even more modifications for this. I, I can see it already. Micarta or titanium handle scales you can put on here, different weighted extensions. It's really cool that they have this built in to be modular already. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more about these knives, go ahead and click the links below. They'll take you on over to gpknives.com. Be sure to let us know what you think about the Necron in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay sharp.